following report last night, but the breaking news out of West Virginia and Israel prevented it. But we now continue our special series of reports here this week on the mystery of pain. More specifically, in this case, how to stop it without resorting to the usual ways. Our report tonight from our chief science correspondent, Robert Bazell. The image is fire, a computerized display generated directly from signals in a human brain. The size of the flame shows the level of pain sensation. We want to be able to find the areas that are causing you uh, the most pain in your brain. It is part of an experimental technology to help people control chronic pain right at its source in their own brain. Seven years ago, Laura Tibbetts was riding a horse. I was uh, thrown off of it and broke my shoulder. As happens to millions of people, the injury seemed to heal, but the pain never went away. I probably had every sensation of pain from tingling to sharp um, to numb. Right now I'm having a couple of spasms in my back. Conference Services, this is Laura. When Tibbetts got a job at Stanford University, she learned of the experiment there headed by Dr. Sean Mackey for chronic pain patients. Um, the initial injury was to my shoulder. They can see what's going on in their brain and in doing so take control of their pain and see a reduction in it. In the experiment, Tibbetts goes into a brain scanner. Her first task is to make her injury hurt as much as possible. This shows the researchers what brain areas are activated by her pain, and that gets translated into the rising flames. And a flame is a very good representation of pain, obviously. Excellent representation. She then uses breathing techniques, pleasant thoughts, muscle relaxations, any tool of biofeedback to lower the brain activity and reduce the pain. She says it helps. It was almost like a mind aerobics um, where I was exercising my brain trying to, to change this, this production of pain. The hope is that this research can eventually help people, even without access to this high technology equipment, learn how to control their chronic pain. Robert Bazell, NBC News, Palo Alto, California. And tomorrow night here we'll